Okay, here we go. Um, tonight we get to see some over unity. We have our stepper motor that we've been looking at. Um, our prime mover that's driving this stepper motor that we're using for a uh, generator. Um, so that is our motor generator setup. Um, the smoothing cap on the power input to the two motor leads. Another smoothing cap here. Um, our current meter, this one here, is between this cap and this cap. Um, and it's going to tell us the current flowing through the system to our prime mover. This meter here reads the voltage um, across this cap and um, that way we can see our uh, power in via DC current, DC voltage. Our output, um, we're only using one leg of the motor, uh, the uh, generator, sorry, our little stepper motor. It has two as seen in the videos before. Here you'll see I have um, our amp meter probe stuck in there. Um, also have this clip lead on it which is going across one of these two um, meter leads and the other clip lead is across the other side of our generator coil. That's going to be measuring our um, AC voltage output which we're going to see on this little El Chupo meter here, the only one I have left because one of my good meters is being used for something else which we'll have a look at. So um, this is going to be looking at our voltage um, delivered to the load which will be AC. This meter here is going to be looking at the current being delivered to the load which is also AC. Um, and I also have this 1 ohm CVR in series with our current meter and um, we have our scope probe placed across that. We can now check using our scope to make sure that our current that the meter is reading is accurate. So um, no problem there. Um, so we're going to be looking at our uh, voltage and current output or our power output from our um, stepper motor here um, by way of our AC voltage and AC current here. We're also going to be looking and double checking that current using our scope probe or our scope should I say with our probe across our 1 ohm 1 watt CVR um, which we have set up here. You'll see I have our RMS value and peak to peak. We don't have to worry about peak to peak. We want to know the RMS value across that 1 ohm resistor. And it is a 1 ohm resistor. Brown, black, gold. Okay, in the box is our load um, that's being placed across this generator. And uh, you can see our two power wires going in. So once again, our red one. Um, is from one leg or the green wire output from our generator through our um, CVR that's measuring the current back out of the CVR across our one ohm uh, resistor into our load and then coming out of our load we're going straight back into the orange wire here which is the other side of that one leg of our generator. So the red and the black there are not being used, that's the other leg in the generator. Um, and once again that clip lead here and here, these two black clip leads are the black clip leads that go right across to a voltage meter. This one probably not so accurate but rough idea. This is um, a true RMS meter so that will be giving us our true RMS current value and I'm not sure what this one does I'm pretty sure that gives us RMS value as well because the peak to peak according to the scope is much higher 
however it's probably not so accurate being a five dollar meter um, so we'll get our uh, AC voltage on this meter then using the same scope probe um, so as we keep everything identical um, and we'll not see any um, differences there may be between channel A, channel B or each of my scope probes we're going to use the same scope probe to measure the voltage across the globe after we get our current value and um, we'll get the true RMS uh, voltage uh, coming from our generator that is across our load, load in, in our little box there it's in a box because as I said I have a temperature probe in there this meter here is reading our temperature inside that box um, in Fahrenheit uh, so that's what that one's all about and that's why it's in a uh, sealed box we can have a look at that box inside the box next video but um, for all intents and purposes now we're going to be watching the uh, temperature rise inside that box when we uh, switch this thing on and send um, the power from our generator into that uh, load inside the box. Okay, so uh, we're pretty well set to go. Um, so at the moment, like I said, I'm set up to read current. We're across a uh, one ohm resistor there. So our scope and this meter are going to be reading the current. Hopefully the scope and the meter will agree with each other, all being equal. I will then switch this to the 10x setting um, because the voltage is going to be around 220 to 240 volts so I'll set our probe to the 10x setting um, and I will place that across this output wire here and leave the ground where it is um, that will then be showing us the voltage across the load okay while we're doing all this we'll have a look at our power in while we're at it uh, which is measuring both DC so um, they'll be very accurate as well okay so uh, we're ready to go um, our temperature is 62 okay so we're on you can see the temperature is climbing rapidly inside our box Okay, not sure how hot it's going to get in there, hopefully it won't catch fire. Our current, according to our meter, is 256 milliamps, that is AC. According to our scope, we have 256 millivolts RMS. Across our resistor, 252 now, 256. Okay, and that is across a 1 ohm resistor. So our scope and our digital multimeter agree with each other. Uh, this little thingy here, multimeter is telling us we have about 224 volts AC across our load. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure the voltage as well using our scope um, as you can see way off the charts because we're set at 1x I'm going to switch our probe is now switched to 10x I'm going to switch our probe here to 10x so as it will show us correct them out and we'll get it all in the screen here 100 volts per division our RMS voltage is 248 volts so we have 248 volts RMS at 255 56 milliamps we've already checked this with the scope we know it is correct um, our little shit box meter here is a little out on the voltage that's saying 225 volts AC and our scope is showing 248 volts 
I would tend to believe the uh, scope over that of the um, $5 meter. But nonetheless, we have 220 volt plus AC at 255, 56 milliamps. Um, our temperature has hit 100 degrees Fahrenheit inside that box. So it's getting pretty warm. Yes, it's getting pretty warm. Okay, our power input is 13.82 volts at 2.0708 amps. You can now calculate the power in. Um, we have 14 volts at 2.8, 2.09, 2.08. Agreeing much with the meter, and we have a slight voltage drop in our wire, probably too thin for the job, um, of 0.2 of a volt. So our meters are very accurate on the input side. We know our current meter is accurate on the output side. Um, and we also know we have more than 226 volts AC across the output. And our scope is saying 248. And we've seen a rapid temperature increase, so we know that we are indeed dissipating power um, from our load inside the box. So there you have it. Um, our output is 255 milliamps RMS at 248 volts RMS. That is our output. So if you um, calculate the output and you calculate the input, you're going to get a very big surprise. So uh, what is actually going on here? And yes, that is getting very warm as well. So, um, it would seem that we have twice as much on the output as we do on the input. We have measured everything quite accurately as far as values go. So, um, what we're going to do now is uh, give you all a week to think about this and uh, work out what the hell is going on here and um, there are hints in the video that uh, raise questions but as far as both our meters and our scope are concerned we are putting out double the power from our generator than what we're using to drive it so um, obviously going on here <coughs> and like I said uh, there are hints in the video that uh, will raise questions um, we're probably looking at about 60 58 to 60 watts on the output and about uh, 27 to 30 on the input so uh, <coughs> excuse me we are definitely putting out twice as much power and then it's getting hot and then it's turning off um, and our, our box is very warm too so we start smoking soon um, so that is what we have and um, both our meters and our scope are showing us a 200% uh, um, efficiency of our uh, little stepper motor generator here. Um, and like I said, we confirmed this meter here was spot on with what the scope had to say across our uh, one watt one ohm resistor. Um, this little El Cheapo meter was reading low. It's only five dollars. What can you expect? But our uh, scope gave us the true value 
and we could see by that rapid temperature increase inside that box that there is definitely um, power being dissipated by our load in the form of heat so um, there you go that is what we have um, that is a true load it is not a power source of any type um, the meters are hooked up correctly um, the current and the voltage you've seen are correct both on the input and the output um, so uh, our scope and our meters are giving us correct values that much I can tell you without a doubt so you just have to uh, work out what is going on here and I'm going to give you a week to think about it in a week's time um, we can have a look at our load and like I said it is a true load there is no source of power inside that box at all um, and that load does dissipate power as you can see by that meter reading the temperature inside that box that is giving you a true indication of the temperature inside the box um, that the load is producing um, everything is above board there's no tricks so um, like I said I'll give you a week to think about it <coughs> we'll pull the load out of the box we can do this all again the results will be exactly the same so um, I've done it as accurately as I can uh, even to using just the one scope probe so as we know there's going to be uh, absolutely no difference um, between the probes or between the channels on the scope um, just for clarity you do see that I have um, or I'm using DC coupling and not AC coupling so we are also correct there everything is above board so um, like I said you just now have a week to work out what is going on thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in a week's time